Hey there, Kelly here. How many of you guys are sitting at home watching videos and learning how to make money on the internet and you're going, oh my God, I really need to do that. I'm so going to do that. And then you never do that. Yeah, let's talk about that. Hey there. All right, so let's jump in and talk about your fear of doing the things that other people are doing and aliens aren't dropping down and sucking our brains out for being on YouTube or Periscope or Snapchat or whatever the case may be. Every day it seems that I deal with people who are giving me excuses. They say, oh, I really want to learn how to make money online. Oh, I really want to start my own business. Oh, I really want to, want to, want to, want to, why, 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 I don't really want to hear it, okay? Here's the thing. If you are interested in making money online, then make money online. And really, it is that simple. You just have to decide that you're going to do it and then do it. Revelation, what? That's it. It was just like when you went out and decided you were going to get a job. You went out, you put in your applications, you submitted your resume, and you did the interview, and then you got there. You were unsure about it. You wasn't. You didn't have the training. They showed you what it was that you needed to do, and now you're probably training other people. And now, guess what? That thing is old hat for you. You're able to do it every day without any. And now you even people. You, you were excited about it at first. You're like, oh my god, I just got a brand new job. I'm so excited. My boss seems really cool. And now a year, two years later, you like eyeball on the boss thinking, you know, ask murderer, you know, things in your head and talk about putting arsenic in his coffee and pissing on his desk when you fight, when you quit. And, you know, so those things you can actually, you know, get to. Well, not the arsenic in the coffee and the pissing on the desk. Don't do that. Don't burn those bridges. But what I'm saying to you is if you want to make money online, it really is as simple as figuring out what it is that you want to earn at and then getting out there and doing that thing. But here are some reasons why you can be successful, but some of you aren't successful. So one of the reasons is that we get caught up on what other people think because they're paying our bills. They're, you know, feeding our families. They're the ones that are keeping the roof over our heads. Probably not, right? So why are you so caught up in what it is that they have to say about what you're doing to better your life, to improve the life, the lives of your family? If you are interested in making money online, then do that thing. Don't sit around worrying about what other people are thinking, okay? That's the first thing. <clears throat> The other thing we get caught up in is we are always um, worried about failing. Oh, what if it doesn't work? Well, you didn't worry about that when you bought those Duracell batteries that you didn't check the date on. You weren't concerned about whether or not they were going to work in, your, in the fire alarm that you entrusted your family with. You should have been more worried about that than the failures that you've got because they really aren't failures if you learn from them. So they're more like, you know, life's little lessons. Yes, life's little lessons is what they really are. And so for you to get caught up and stuck on things that you may have done before that didn't work out, baby, divorce that thing, move on, you know, deal with the, with the fallout of it and understand that there was a lesson in it. Now you know what not to marry, right? Right, okay. And speaking of what not to marry, when you start thinking about what you're going to do, <clears throat> excuse me, what you're going to add in your business um, as you know an online an online entrepreneur, weigh out the pros and cons. Write yourself a list and tell yourself why is this good, why is this bad, and you know, and weigh it out. And then also ask the people that you are planning to serve. You know, ask them if it's something that they are interested in, if it's something that that you feel like they're going to want, or if it's something that you're just really happy about and really enjoy. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, guys, I'm having some issues today. Um, if it's something you feel like you're really going to enjoy or that you really want to do, then go ahead and do that thing and build yourself an audience because it may take you a little more time depending on what it is that you're sharing, but your vibe attracts your tribe, which brings me to another thing that people often ask is like, 
Well, what about competition? You know, there's so many people out there in the air in you know, in the space teaching how to make money online. Well, you know what? So what? I don't believe in competition, honestly. Um, I did a video on, it was called uh, Competition Versus Collaboration. I think that's the, what, what I called it. And I'll link to that in the uh, description information below so that you can watch that and get my point of view on competition. But here's the thing, there's always an angle that people are going to accept coming from you that they won't necessarily accept coming from someone else. When I sold homes, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, how many of you know somebody in real estate? How many of you know somebody that is highly successful in real estate? So therefore, doesn't matter how much competition you have, it's a matter of how you're presenting yourself, how you're presenting that product, are you solving a problem, a pain point for them, and if you're doing it from a sincere you know, aspect. And I mean, it just depends on what it is that they're looking for, what you're looking for, and can you mesh and marry the two. There is enough business for all of us. And when you start talking about the online space, so many people are sitting at home going, oh, I should do that. You know, I could do that. You know, I have such wonderful ideas. And then you're sitting at home still talking about it two, three years later. Therefore, I don't really see you or anybody for that matter as my competition. And it's not that I'm that arrogant. It's just that we all have the ability to draw our own people. Because if we didn't, we wouldn't have friends. And if you ain't got friends, I don't know what to say about you. I'm sorry. No, I'm teasing. Um, because some people probably don't have friends. And if you don't have friends, I'll be your friend. As long as you're not annoying and needy and clingy. Yeah. Then I'll be your friend. Okay. Yeah. It's conditional. Yes, it's conditional. Okay. So the other thing that a lot of us do is we go to the wrong people for advice. You round the corner at Broke Boy Sam's house asking him how to do an online business and he's sitting back on his sofa on his third job of the month because they keep firing him, you know, smoking a joint and, you know, drinking and it's 10 o'clock in the morning. Don't ask him. He can't tell you how to be successful. Don't ask him. I'm just saying that we go to people and we're like, well, what do you think of this? And they still work in a nine to five. So of course they think that you are crazy for trying to jump out there and start your own thing. You, you asking the person that, you know, secretly wishes for your failure and you know, they do, you know, who don't want you to have you, who you don't, you know, let me fix this. Cause I just get all emotional. You know who does not want you to be successful. Every time you come in and you got a raise or you got a promotion or you bought something new, you got a new car, new house, they're like, oh, congratulations. With a fake ass smile. You know, so you're running around asking that person about improving your life when they are either on par with you or they're here and you are here or they are here and they like you here. They don't, they're afraid that you might, you know, come up. So don't ask them, put yourself around people who are here and who are happy to share and who are happy to, to give you the information, if you will, that you need, who are positive, that are always encouraging you in a real and genuine way. Like you don't want those fakers because are they really telling you the truth? That's what I always think when I go to somebody and I'm like, vibe ain't right, baby. Your vibe ain't right. I don't really want to know nothing from you because you about sabotage. And we already have enough challenges in our lives and you know where it's coming down to sabotage. And lastly, if you cannot find that positive person that knows what the hell they doing or what they're talking about, hire somebody. Hire yourself a coach or a mentor because at some point, honestly, in your business, you are going to need somebody who is next level. And oftentimes we're not really running in those circles. We are, you know, within uh, two or three steps above where we are, but sometimes you need to be five steps above where you are. You need to be seven steps above where you are. And sometimes you're not going to find that in your group of, of peers, so to speak, because if you were amongst your group of peers, you'd be up there at level seven, right? So sometimes you just got to go ahead and invest in yourself and whip out, your, whip out your dollars and go ahead and hire somebody to help you get to where it is that you want to get to. But most importantly, the biggest takeaway from this is 
you have to actually stop making damn excuses. <laughs> You've got to really decide that you're going to do it and then do it. That is the most important thing. So to coin the phrase from Nike, just do it. All right, that's my uh, spiel for today. If you have not subscribed, please do. Um, if you're not following me on my other forms of social media, I will put them in the description bar below and then you can follow me there as well and see what kind of shenanigans I am sharing. And uh, I will see you all again. The goal is to post something every single day. And so far, so good, but we'll see. I'm, I'm checking to see, you know, I'm teasing. I'm expecting success. So I showed up and I'm just doing it. And I'm not any different from you. So come on, come on with the coming on, man. I'll see you guys soon. Ciao.